Hello, and welcome to another stupidly made video, designated for spreading happiness to you, and fear to enemies. But first, a little bit of introduction. Baby Woke is the world that all those are happening. Baby Dora is the main character, and Ubuntu is the main villain, that in the end, they will learn what a horrible death is. Pretty much, something like that. And I'll come back to that, on another video with some super cute code I wrote with TensorFlow, and I promise you, that's going to have so much fun! Anyway, there are tiny things in GNOME, that I can't make dedicate videos just for those, and therefore, I thought to introduce these series to demo various things in a single video. So, that's the first episode, and very possible last one too, because I rarely do the things I say I'm going to do. But let's get this video started, because in a few more seconds, I'm going to break Brian Lunduk's slowest intro ever award, and lose the colors of life. That's Librem 5 terminal that I had demoed before, but I want to add some extra info, like the context menu that now opens with a gesture. It still has this weird King's Cross name, but the icon is really great. And since I'm here, there is also this add way to theme change, that the border on close button is now circle instead of square. A special ability on this terminal is the header bar, that turns to red, when we run something with root privileges, and turns back to grey when it exits. King's Cross doesn't currently support tabs, but when it will, then I guess it will be something similar to what Epiphany Adaptive Mode does. Do you remember that super awesome demo with Purism Application Launcher? The code for drawers has now moved and live handy. It is not on master yet, but it will soon be, and then you will be able to use it on your GNOME apps. It delivers great usability and it is super smooth, so pretty please do that! I had demo GNOME feeds when it was still in alpha, but now it is on flat up so you can get it from there, and you can read the official Baby Dora blog. If I'm actually going to ever post anything, because my last post was like a year ago. You see? Told ya! I always say things I never do. Oh, and obviously, Feeds is yet another GNOME app that is Librem 5 compatible. I don't know why I did that, but I guess it reflects my superior maturity. Contrast is another app I had demoed the alpha version, but it is now on Flathub, and better than ever. It is written on Rust, and its mission is to compare two different colors and give a rating. A very nice idea is that every time launches with a different color scheme. But obviously we can also choose the colors we want to compare, either with a color picker, that I don't know if it works on Wayland, or directly from GTK Color Widget. Drawing app has now two new tools. The first is the deformation tool, that nobody knows what it does, including the original creator of the app. But nevertheless, this tool is fun! Second is the Blur tool, that also works on selections. So, we can make a selection with the selections tools that don't really work, and then blur it. Okay, Lollipop. Lollipop it is a category itself. I could easily upload two, maybe three videos a day with changes, like big changes, and I can't even imagine what will happen, when Cedric will port it on GTK4. But for now, I just picked a change towards Librem 5 support. So, that is the popover menu when we are in desktop mode. And this is the same popover on Librem 5. 
This app isn't just the best desktop music player there is, it is actually turning to the best music app on phones too. That GTK sucks big time, I mean, fuck me, great great job! And since I did so many about Librem 5, let's do some Librem 5 too. So, on overview the drawer goes now on the top, and we also have this nice arrow animation. I know, that wasn't very impressive demo. But when I hit the 30,000 subscribers, in approximately 500 years from now, then I will blackmail them, and then they will send me a real device to upload better demos. Stay tuned, stay alive, which reminds me, So, Gnome thanks Ubuntu for Yara theme, because it helps to avoid theme fragmentation. An amazing statement! Gnome is a community with many opinions, and anyway, here's a demo on Yaro from Master together with a real fact, and not a personal opinion, why theming is a terrible idea. Let's assume that there is a theme API, that there isn't, and let's assume that themes can read an app styles, that they can't. And yet, third-party theming will fail again, for the very simple reason that is called colors contrast. Orange is not blue, and the Yara dark theme is nowhere near to add way to dark colors. That means, that if an app developer uses an app styles, and an app styles means custom coloring on certain components, then the contrast with the main theme will fail. And moreover, this will make seriously hard for large applications, like GIMP on GTK3, or even an add way to color scheme for Visual Studio Code, to provide themes that work nicely on GNOME. I don't want to expand more on this video, either you get it, or you just don't. GNOME Builder 3.34 Beta is out, with a new external commands integration. We can now execute shell commands on the host, in build container, or of runtime containers, and access them quickly with custom shortcuts. I will upload an extended video on this, and most specifically how Builder works on Silverblue and Fedora Toolbox. GNOME Shell 3.34 Beta is also out, but I'm going to do an overall review on second beta release, because it may get some freeze exceptions, so I don't want to miss features. But let me give you the short version. For someone that first time sees the new shell, everything will be awesome. But for someone that knows what patches weren't included in the release, it will feel awful. Anyway, that was all. I wanted to add more things, but I already made my largest video ever. See you again on episode 2.